My right eye is making a squishy sound all of a sudden for the last two months but only in the morning sometimes on occasion sporadically through the day or late at night after watching TV too long but those times it's short-lived. In the morning it lasts 10 minutes even after I put my routine cysteine lubricating eye drops in with my Opcon allergy drops. Eventually after I've been awake for a while it goes away and never comes back until the next morning. But like I mentioned earlier sometimes it will make that noise late at night or another part of the day but only for a short time and not every day like the morning sound. It never happens in my left eye and I'm only 36 years old. No pain or tears except for eye watering in the morning or itchy eyes due to pollen allergies. I had laser surgery for nearsightedness in 2001 and two years later my vision started becoming slightly blurry. I was 25 when I had the surgery doctor recommend I wait two to four more years until my vision was less likely to still be changing but I didn't want to wait and I was tired of cleaning contact lenses every night. Subsequently what ended up happening is the doctor told me I could not have laser surgery a second time because it would damage my corneas. I was devastated because I never wear glasses only before bed and when I wake up in the morning can't stand them, and I was sick of dealing with contact lenses. I had no choice so I ended up buying disposable once dailies because I didn't want to clean lenses ever again. I wear them about 13 to 15 hours a day depending on what time I wake up and go to bed. If I wake up early for work, 6 o'clock, I probably shouldn't wear them past 9 o'clock but I usually do because I see better with them. I also tend to notice the noise if I get less than 7 hours of sleep or when my contacts are making my eyes dry. Left eye is dry often even with drops and right eye is usually teary especially when it's windy or cold outside. Thanks for your time hope my info helps. How long have you been dealing with this? Does anything in particular seem to make the itch better or worse? Since April. And my symptom isn't itching it's a squishy sound in my right eye. I wrote in detail what's been going on. Anything else in your medical history you think the doctor should know? I already listed in my first note I had laser surgery for nearsightedness in 2001 but my vision slipped so I'm back to wearing contact lenses every day again. My dad is nearsighted too with dry eye. He's old though, 75, he had cataract surgery three months ago. I've also had floaters in both eyes since I was 28. The refractive surgery really affected my night vision I saw halos around lights for six months now my night vision isn't good when driving bright lights blind me and are bothersome even with my tinted windows. That's all the eye history I have. Hi. I'm Dr. Rick and I have two decades of ophthalmology and retina surgery experience. I'm online and happy to answer your question today. How long has this been going on? MF? Any loss of vision? What are you doing with your eyes when this sound is made? Is there any swelling etc? Do you have any other medical problems or take any medications? This is not an answer, but an information request. I need this information to answer your question. Please reply, so I can answer your question. I look forward to helping you. Hi Dr. Rick. I'm not sure what you mean by MF, Monday to Friday, but it happens every day. I haven't changed anything in my routine it's only been going on since about May of this year. I've never had this before in my entire life. No pain, no loss of vision, no swelling, 
no blurry vision, just the typical watering or itchiness due to seasonal allergies. I don't know why it's only in my right eye but I haven't changed anything in my daily routine. It happens when I wake up and I rub my eye. If I don't touch my eye it won't make the squishy noise. It goes away when I put my contacts in. I also don't take any medications or have any health issues but I've had low back problems since I was in college. I'm going to the Target Optical Center next week where the eye doctor does my exams even though my checkup isn't until December. I'm also getting a full blood panel and x-rays this month in addition to seeing a dermatologist to make sure I don't have an underlying condition. Thank you for that additional information. It sounds like you are suffering from an anterior segment slash tear film issue. Many times, for all sorts of reasons, the anterior surface of the eye starts to have difficulties. What can cause this? Well, there are a number of conditions but the most common are dry eyes, allergies and blepharitis. Many times all three conditions act together to make you miserable. In order to solve your problem you need to address all of these issues at the same time. When it comes to allergies it is almost impossible to pin down the offending agents and, therefore, treatment needs to focus on controlling the symptoms. Dry eyes are very common and can be improved by a stepwise series of therapies. First, the use of natural tears 4 to 6 plus times slash day to augment your natural tear production and the use of a medication called Restasis to improve your tear production. If this doesn't work then you can try temporary punctal occlusion of the lower puncta, then, if needed, temporary occlusion of all four puncta then, if indicated, surgical, non-reversible, closure of the puncta. The openings to your tear drainage system are called puncta and you have one opening on each lid, near your nose. If this does not give relief then your eyelid opening can be made smaller with surgery, lateral tarsiraphy. Blepharitis is a condition where glands in the eyelids are not functioning normally. They become plugged and instead of putting out their normal clear, oily secretions, they put out thick, toothpaste-like gunk. You may not be able to see this gunk yourself, unless it is really bad, but it shows up clearly on slit lamp examination. The best treatment for this condition is daily lid scrubs combined with warm compresses. I like to use baby shampoo for lid scrubs. In the shower, place the shampoo on your index fingers, close your eyes, raise your eyebrows, to stretch the skin on your eyelids, and scrub back and forth along your eyelashes for 3 to 5 minutes. The hot water in the shower helps to soften the plugged oils in the glands while the mechanical scrubbing with your soapy fingers removes the oils. Baby shampoo lid scrubs will also help to wash away allergens and stimulate tear production, thereby addressing all three of your issues. Remember, this is not an instant fix. While you are waiting for the lid scrubs to have effect you can use over-the-counter allergy pills such as Travist, Dimetap or Zyrtec. Should your symptoms get worse, your vision becomes significantly affected or things just not get better in three weeks or so you should have a complete eye examination by your local ophthalmologist to look for other, less common, causes of your symptoms. I understand that this treatment seems a bit too low-tech to be of value, but after two decades of clinical practice, I can assure you, even from personal experience smile that it does, indeed, work. Does this make sense to you? And, never fear, even after you press that button I don't go up in a puff of smoke, I'll still be right here to continue helping you, but, as I do work for tips, I want to make sure you are happy before rating me. Drive Rick MD Fax Hi Dr. Rick thanks for your reply. I just saw your message, 
I see it was sent at 5 10 a.m. So I'm not sure what state you're in, but I'm in California, so I don't get up that early on the weekends. LOL. And number 55357 semicolon and number 56834. My eye and nasal allergies have been off the hook this year. I actually use Flonase 4 to 5 days a week for itchy, watery eyes and nasal congestion, but it doesn't treat dry eye, but I'm supposed to use it 7 days a week. I only use my Cystain drops every day, but just in the morning when I put my contacts in and at night when I take them out. I guess I should use them 4 to 6 times a day. I'm not sure why it only happens in my right eye when I wake up, but I'm making an appointment next week to see my eye doctor. I have medical so I don't have a lot of options for ophthalmologists, vision care options are limited. But the doctor at Target Optical is an optometrist so if it's more serious than allergy she'll refer me to an ophthalmologist depending on what she sees during the lamp examination. I'm not sure I can wash my eyelid, even with Johnson's baby soap which I use for my kids, because my eyes are very sensitive, I can't even get a drop of water in them without them burning like crazy. I'll try just using the hot water in the shower but I already do that rub my eyes with hot water to wake up, so I'm not sure it will keep preventing problems from recurring. Thanks again for all your info have a great weekend. And number 55357 semicolon and number 56397 semicolon and number 55356 semicolon and number 57340, regards, Erica. Hi Dr. Rick yes I already rated you 5 stars sorry I can't write anymore I was attacked yesterday and my car was vandalized. I is getting better with drops. Thanks. Sorry to hear about the troubles you are having. Hopefully the perps are in jail. Thanks no not exactly he drove off. No license plate or witnesses. I just bought a dashboard camera. It's only the windshield that broke so it's not the end of the world. He'll get his karma. What comes around goes around right? Just got all my labs back yesterday for blood work and x-rays, low back pain. Everything turned out normal so squishy eye is not related to any underlying condition. Apparently there's nothing wrong with me but I still don't feel right lol. Take care. Regards, Erica. Karma, good stuff. Baseball bat can help someone get in touch with the karma they are due. Lamau. What state do you live in? I live in California so if I carried around a baseball bat I'd probability be in jail right now lol. I carry pepper spray in my door but for some reason I didn't think to use it I was in shock, I was completely unglued at that point. Thankfully the glass did not shatter in my face on the driver's side or I would have lost my vision so no more squishy I lol. And number 55357 semicolon and number 56834. I live in a state where we all carry gun smile. Off the subject I do keep a metal baseball bat by my bedside because we had a couple of burglaries in the neighborhood. I have an alarm system but you never know it's illegal to possess a firearm in the state of California. I wouldn't trust myself with a gun but I'd sleep better at night lol. A large dog is also good for peaceful sleep. You must live in Texas or Georgia lol. I is squishy right now after putting in contact lenses and showering. I put in extra drops too. I'm making an appointment. This week with the optometrist just in case. 
I had a husky, she passed away May 2016 suddenly and unexpectedly from pericardial effusion, dog heart tumor. It was horrible she was only 12 years old and full of life always acting like a puppy. She was a great guard dog, which huskies are not known for. She'd bark all the time even if a leaf was blowing down the street. Before the UPS driver rang the doorbell she'd bark when she heard his truck so I knew I was expecting a package lol. I adopted three new huskies a few months ago but I still wasn't ready, so I ended up returning them to the foster owners. Now I just have crickets that chirp all night lol. I rescued her when she was six months old. The previous owner had debarked her, it made her bark very raspy like she had laryngitis so she couldn't howl anymore, so cruel. Very sad. And number 55357 semicolon and number 56897. Sounds like she had a good life smile. She had a great life with me. She loved me unconditionally. I took her out four times a day, she was my soulmate. Smile. If you have a health question and want to chat with a doctor now, visit justanswer.com slash yt health.